Published in the July 6, 2012 edition of Science Magazine, Eddy Driving Stratification initiates North Atlantic Spring Blooms. The following video is based on this paper. Every spring, the North Atlantic blooms. A wave of microscopic plant growth greens the ocean surface from Bermuda north to the edge of the Arctic ice. These plants grow. It's a big bloom of, of algae, phytoplankton, and this is a really major event in the Earth's biogeochemistry. It pulls in a lot of carbon from the atmosphere and feeds the fisheries of the North Atlantic to a large degree. Through photosynthesis, phytoplankton produce about half the Earth's oxygen. Recent findings detailed in Science Magazine tell of new insights into how the North Atlantic bloom begins. In particular, how the phytoplankton in the ocean get the sunlight they need to grow. The key is mixing, deep in the winter, shallow in the spring. That for the phytoplankton are closer to the surface, there's more light and they grow. That had been the traditional way of thinking about it. What we discovered was that in fact there's more complicated things going on than just that. Namely, complex shifts of ocean layers driven by eddies. What's been discovered theoretically using computer models in the last decade or so is that in fact you can have a very you can have a complicated slipping of the heavy water under the light water in which blobs of heavy water slide down, blobs of light water move over, and essentially eddies. Eddies are, are mixing the heavy water under, mixing the light water up, and that makes a stratification. In recent years, the North Atlantic bloom has come under the most intense scientific scrutiny yet. Slow down, Billy, slow down! Thanks to the deployment of new robotic platforms. So they're really revolutionizing the way that we do oceanography. These are the floats and the gliders and the drifters that you see that are capable of staying out there for very long periods of time and, and making measurements of both physical and, and biogeochemical, biological and chemical quantities. Pretty much anything you can measure with light, electricity, and sound the things that we can measure with these, these robots. Over a span of months, extensive measurements by these robot explorers helped confirm the eddy phenomenon. If you think about a deep la mixed layer in the ocean in the North Atlantic, as you go north, it's colder, you go south, it's warmer. So even though the water might be well mixed in the vertical, it's not so well mixed in the horizontal. There's heavier water here and light water here. You might think of like a set of lines like this and what can happen is that the heavy water can slip underneath the light water, like this. So you start out with uniform water, and then you slip, and now there's light water over heavy water. And that's a stratification. That limits the depth of mixing. So it's a combined physical biological effect. You have different physics, you get different biology. And that's the essential message in the paper, that there's a new physical mechanism in which eddies take horizontal, density gradients, convert them into vertical gradients that causes a stratification that causes more sunlight to the phytoplankton, and therefore they grow earlier, and that is what's initiating the North Atlantic bloom. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.